What it do, baby? What it do, baby? What it do, baby? What it do, baby? We ready, we ready. So, last but not least, uh, the guys wanted me to kind of paint a picture for all of our guests in the back, our uh, people from Denver, people from Vancouver, on our culture and what it means to me and what it means to you all. Uh, it is precious what we have here because I promise you, what we have here, that base feeling of family and love and togetherness, I got to tell them what about it, and togetherness nobody else has. Nah, that's what he's talking about, family right there. Yeah. Family, 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 yeah. family. Yeah. Nobody has the type of culture that we have, and we want to try to help them take this and give it to their franchise, because that's all gonna help us all grow. I know we all talk about opportunities and growth and going places, where this is gonna help us start with that. So I'm gonna use this arrow on the, on the wall to kind of help you guys visualize this, all right? So I'll start when I'm down here. All right. For all of you that don't know, majority of you do know, before I got here, I was living in Lawrence. Um, I was supposed to be going to school at KU, but I got kicked out. I was working at Jimmy John's, four-hour shifts, delivering sandwiches in my Monte Carlo, playing some music, not doing shit with my life. Working those four hours to get that sandwich so I could eat, because them checks is $168 every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all heard that. Every two weeks. Um, and every single day, just basically living off the tip. Hoping I get that $5, that $10 that come in, that $15. And what it created in my mind was a belief system that I wasn't going to be anything. That this is, what, this is what I had. This is what I was going to do. I was stuck being a bum, and I was stuck in the rat race. I have no problem saying that. That was my belief system at the time. I was okay with just being down in the dirt and just stuck. Luckily for me, the apartment lease ended, I had to come back home, stay with the Mama Dukes. Nobody ever wants to go back home, especially when you've been living by yourself in college for about three years now. Back home, I gotta get to work. The only other skills I really got is I can move some furniture, because I've been doing it a couple, couple summers here and there up in Fort Leavenworth, get paid cash. So I'm like, all right, I can do that. Happen to see you move me on Indeed. Uh, actually, my mother found it, which is, which is crazy. My mother found it, and Ms. Vian, you already know. Uh, she found it, and she's like, you, you gotta apply, you gotta work. I said, hey, whatever. Get a call the very next day uh, from the recruiter who's no longer here. Brought me in for an interview, we talked. Uh, and Jason and uh, everybody there painted the picture of, if you come here, the best people will play, and you will have constant growth and development, and you will be surrounded by people that love and care about you and want to see the best for you. So that goes hand in hand with our South Wind principles, our pillars, I should say. And then that started to change my belief system and what I believed in myself. It started to change that. So I went from not thinking I was going to be able to do anything, I'm making minimum wage 550, that's below minimum wage actually, 550. I'm working on tips, I'm kind of just going through life and I'm just having life just, just, just give me the shit stick and I'm just going to take it. And what started to happen was, you know, the coin for, for LeDrew, let me get a little promotional, some, some down on the side. I had a mind shift and I started just to think differently. I got around people like Josh who looked at me and believed in the potential, not in the person that I was at the time, the person he saw through the cloudy window. He started to slowly chip away at it. The reason, and he didn't do anything too, too outlandish, just every single day, greet me, give me a smile, give me a pat on the shoulder, give me some reassurance, <coughs> tell me he believes in me every single day. And then I'm starting to slowly but surely move that arrow. I'm going closer to the top. And then I, I, I'm slowly but surely getting promoted. I, I'm now put in a position of leadership. And now I get to communicate with all of you all. And then I can start to see you all's mind shifts. You all's belief system change. The Dylan Sell, the Sally season. Mm. The Tim Stewart. Hey. The John Mackeys, 
who knows, I'm on his ass like white on rice. <laughs> he was late to work today. I'm going to tell you all right now. Ooh, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> My Deckers said, why, hey, Noah, you, do I have to keep going? I don't need yeah. to. Every single one of you, I can have a personal relationship with you and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You all are individuals. And you guys' belief system started to change, and again, that just kept motivating me to keep moving forward. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Because that's what we talk about here at You Move. That's what our culture is. A culture of continual growth and development. Bringing our brothers along with us. Always shooting to be exceptional and always doing what's right. It's not going this way. It's not being okay with the constant and being complacent. It's about that steady trek and drive to the top. I know a lot of us are sports guys in here, uh, ladies even, but we had one of our idols pass away, Kobe Bryant, RIP. You can see how his mind and how he thought about life, how it affected people. They call it the Mamba mentality. And what he said is, is that back in the day, back when I was at the bottom of the, of the arrow, I had all these dreams of what I wanted to do. I wanted to play in the NFL. I wanted to have a Hellcat. I wanted to have hella money. I wanted all those things. And I was like, that's the dream. That's where I got to get to. If you know where I'm going, Kobe Bryant painted this picture perfectly. The dream is that journey along this arrow. The dream is that journey, the ups and the downs, the constant pushing, when you get hit back, going harder and keep going forward. That's the dream. And when you get to the end, what you thought was the end goal, it's actually something 10 times bigger than that. It's like the compound effect, man. If you positively add to something every single day, slowly but surely, you're going to reach something great. And whatever that is for you, if that's Mackie going to the sales center being phenomenal, if that's still in sale on selling season five months with no damages, if that's YA continually killing us in profit share, if that's whatever you want to do, just keep pushing and be great. That's what our culture is. That's what makes us better than everybody else. And there's no disrespect to anybody in this room. That's why we're the best. That's why we're going to continue to get better. We don't have a finite mindset. We have an infinite mindset. We are going to the top and we're going to keep pushing. And I know all of y'all with me because y'all locking eyes with me. Be real with yourselves. Be real with each other. Love each other up and pass on the knowledge. Y'all all know iron sharper iron. I will not be where I'm at today without all of y'all in here. And I mean that. And I mean that. Y'all make me better every single day. Carlos, your headaches that you give me, you make me better every single day. <laughs> every day. Man, my dad, the headaches you give me, you make me better every single day. And I know I'm making you better because iron sharpens iron. So keep being your brother's keepers. Keep pushing to be great. And we're going to have all the success in the world, I promise you, because we're going to go take that shit. That's all I got.